Jake Ludington here at OpenStack Days in Seattle, and I'm here with Robert Kalura of Platform 9. And maybe for people that don't know, what, what is Platform 9? So Platform 9 is a fully managed SaaS control plane for OpenStack. So we roll the control plane in the public cloud, and we connect to your resources on-prem. But the idea is that the difficulties of standing up OpenStack, they go away with our solution, right? It's a fully managed SaaS offering, and so we take away, the, uh, we take away a lot of the pain with the deploying OpenStack. And our real value prop is the, the time to value. Being able to roll the control plane in less than 20 minutes is pretty compelling. And one of the things that I know that you're showing off here is this idea that you guys can provide high availability within OpenStack. Uh, what does that look like? So we, we have this whole pets versus cattle, and there are a lot of customers that their applications are not highly distributed where they could actually sustain a loss of a particular instance. And so as we go towards you know some of the mid-tier, maybe the XVMware folks, they need the ability to have instances that have high availability, right? And so we, we basically created this project where OpenStack and Nova have the ability to create availability zones, right? So you can actually say that certain KVM nodes are part of an availability zone. And when you launch a particular stack, the stack could be spread across multiple AZs. So if an AZ goes down, however you define that, your instance will be still up and running, obviously. That's, that's pretty important for a lot of people. It's pretty important for the, again, for the, for the folks that are still have pets. Maybe not as much for the folks that have cattle, but you know, as we as OpenStack becomes more widely adopted, and you know, it's, there's obviously uh, there's there's still a customer, there's still a use case for some of those traditional apps where they actually need to maintain high availability, more of like the DRS functionality you would see in a VMware space. And then the other thing that uh, I know that, that you mentioned was that you guys have the ability to kind of help people recapture those rogue instances that are still floating out there. Correct. Uh, we call that uh, the Moore's project, and that is submitted upstream. And basically, we had a a couple large scale CI/CD customers where they're constantly going through and spinning up instances. Uh, but what was happening a lot, we're, we're being left stranded, right? So the idea is that on a per tenant basis, you can set up a, a uh, lease policy. That could be three days, 30 days. Um, you would get a notify, the, not the developer would get a notification or the tenant would get a notification saying, hey, this lease is about to expire so they could renew it. If they didn't, it would automatically delete and terminate it. So you can be able to recapture those resources. And that, uh, whether, whether that's in uh, OpenStack or, or anywhere, that's, that's really kind of a, a global problem. Yeah, definitely. Especially, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot more automation. Obviously, a, a big use case for OpenStack is development, of course, DevOps. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are automating with, with Jenkins. And uh, obviously, that's a classic use case where there's a lot of stranded instances out there, right? All right. Well, thanks, Robert. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jake.